Yeah. You already know that it's evident. You are rocking with East God and of development. Probably should run for president. The black wolf walk in the woods, feel like the revenant. I had to embellish it. MC on the beat, like OT from the D. Just pass me the rock, I'ma pull it up from the three. I see strange things like 11. And when I'm on the mic, I get them hype like DJ7 or DJ Slim in Hollywood, like I'm bug. They know I'm the one. Man, the knowledge come from the dreads. This X ray sun, peace, love, and unity. You gotta give it your best. And you say that you got them bars, or we gon' Give him a test, okay? One, two, three, four, five. You ain't said it right, please say it one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Yo, 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 what up, though? Y'all know what time it is, man. Another episode of Fifth Element Hip Hop, where we represent hip hop in its truest form. That's peace, love, unity, and having fun. And like always, man, we always got some special guests in the building. But before we go ahead and get them into that, I am OT from the D, and I'm going to introduce my co-host. Y'all know him by Ray Sun, but around here, we be like, Ramon! <laughs> what it do, what it do, man? New week, no smut on our names. Last time that I checked. Yeah. Let's go. You feel Let's me? Let's go. Yo, sitting to the right of me, y'all know what it is, man. Uh, your DJ's favorite DJ. Your favorite DJ's favorite DJ. You there know what I'm saying? There we go. You feel me? Y'all know about DJ Slim, but around here, he the blend god. What's happening, boy? Peace, peace, peace. Welcome to the Fifth Element Hip Hop Show, man, on this lovely day of wisdom, wisdom. Hey, and we ain't going to even waste no time, man. I'm like, we're going to get right into Let's go. Our, our guest in the building, Let's you know go. what I'm saying? We got my man up here, you know what I'm saying? He came up here to do his thing, sit in with us and talk that talk. And, and, and spit them spits. Yeah. You lights. know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight yeah, up. Yeah. You know what I mean? When y'all hit lights, y'all already know who it is. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. For Straight sure. up. You know what I mean? Let's give it up for the one and only James Way. What's happening? James Way. Bam, 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 bam. What up, what up? Yeah. Yeah. Back in the building with Fifth yeah, Element, man. y'all dig? Yeah. yeah. Lights. You know what I'm saying? All day. In the back and in, and in the back way in the cut. You know what I'm saying? In the biggity, biggity back. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? We got my man, you know, Hollywood Boog is out today because he's going to be cracking niggas on the football field. All right, you know all right, what I'm saying? Right. And Sebi Sev is doing what he do, right. spending around town, making money, having fun. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? But right now, we got uh, two special guests of Fifth Element, one Fifth Element family, one new Fifth Element family. We got my man Eno in the building. Eno is what and, up, what up, what up. DJ My Girl, what's happening? Hey, hey, how you doing? Okay, okay. Hey, yo. thank y'all for coming in. You know what I mean? No Sitting in with the Fifth Element. You know what I'm saying? So right now we got a little special something that's gonna happen right now because um, last week we were supposed to have him in, but yeah, you know yeah, yeah. because of time constraints, no, his wasn't. ass was late. <laughs> <laughs> his ass was late. <laughs> but I was trying to dress it up nicely. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I take accountability. Hundred percent. But but it's all good. You know what I mean? This Fifth Element family, and he gonna get up here, and you know, anytime a rapper sit in that seat, you know, rappers rap. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready. So what we gonna do right now, man, we gonna get into James Wade going up yeah. for a bar test, yeah. you know what I'm saying, early in the show but, but, and, and giving y'all that 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 good. Before we do that, right, Ray, we, this, this show is sponsored by, you know what I'm it's saying? It's sponsored by Gin and Juice by Gin Dre and Juice. Snoop. Check it out. Gin and Juice. Fresh new drop to <laughs> yeah. what we sipping on. Gin and Juice. Gin and the juice. citrus right. one. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, we got a uh, 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 melon over here, you know what I mean? Okay, right. okay. It's, it's full of melon and hibiscus. Uh. You know what I'm saying? That means it's good for you too. It ain't right, gonna get right. you fucked up. And, and yeah, no doubt. <laughs> hey, look if at the that box that sounds good. Come in. It got the fresh six four on 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 it. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 I think the the car matches. It's, the it's color a nice the little presentation on it. You know what I'm saying? Cruising down the street. So we gonna crack this open, and everybody yeah. gonna. Matter of fact, let's go and crack it right now. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I mean? What we waiting on? Only thing is. Snoop, y'all got to put these in, in the coolers. Y'all got these on the shelf. They, these things got to come cold already. Yeah, man. You got to put them in the freezer a little bit. Y'all know how y'all had them in the video? I had the 40s in the Boom. video back in the day. <laughs> Straight up. You this know what I'm saying? Anybody want a melon one or y'all want citrus? Right. You know what I mean? We can, I'm like, yo, this the day ain't leaving till six in the morning, Juice. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight up. Okay, Give me one of them okay. right there, You know what I'm saying? My girl, you, you sipping with us? You know, I I got to gig right after this, so I can't sip. I can't sip, but I'm okay. sipping in spirit. Nah, you, she's she's scared. Scared. What you talking she's about? Working. I'm like, man, I'm like hey. that's how you want to spin. Boop. You want to <laughs> spin when you lit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's oh, how you know you're about to have a good yeah, time. Out here. Look, I'm like, that's what you want to hey, do. And you know you who do. else was like that, though? Sir, he was like that. He used to be like, Slim, man, I can't drink and drive, man. Mm. Hey, I ain't mad man. I'd be like, yo, man, well, let me take the wheel, bro. I got you. I got you, bro. He said, you said, Slim, Took the wheels of steel. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got you, man. I got you. 
I'm like, man, you know I ain't saying? mad at it. Eno, Eno you, you getting down? Uh, yeah, go we ahead and go on, get on down. <laughs> toss, 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 him, little blessing. toss him a 40. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 bless you know, him, it's a on beats. Yeah, <laughs> toss him a 40. Let's see what we over here doing. Boy, Snoop Kenny I'm, I'm cameraman in the man. building, too. We're going we gonna, yeah, we gonna, yeah. to have to start getting sponsored by some cookies or some we, shit. Because I'm like, yo, that's what you call show. You know what I mean? Call me up in here for that. This right here, I'm like, man, y'all know I ain't no alcohol drinker. So I'm like, dude, I'm like, what the? We're just trying to get ready for our... um. Our um, drink champs interview. We yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no doubt. Let's go. No doubt you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm going to just let y'all know right now, my drink champ interview going gonna to be filled with water. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm going to front like I'm drinking and shit, but it's going to be straight but, but, placebo. But you're up here drinking. <laughs> yeah, 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 hey, look, yeah. I ain't Come drinking on, right now. I'm advertising drink, there but I'm is. not drinking. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so you're trying it out. Exactly. Yeah, I'm, just a little taste it. You know what Just I mean? a little taste. Then you gonna pour the rest in slim cup. You heard? Yeah, that is. But we ain't gonna we ain't gonna wait no longer. Yeah, let's man. go, man. Let's we do gonna it. go let's ahead and get into it, man. Lights. You know what I mean? Let's James go. Wade on the bar test. Let's eat. Let's go. Yeah, I wanted to bring y'all some original real quick. Okay. Especially it was it was meant for that last time y'all know. Right, we right. But we also it down a little bit. Let them hear the words real quick. Yes, sir. Don't get no more real than this. Yeah, they willing to pay so it's so. A hundred a thing could see the game could be so. But something to say, something to bank, and I'll make it rain on these. I'm on go, don't fumble the bag, I double or nothing, just run up a check. Cash is moving everything, money's on your head. All my presidents dead, hell and I'm just trying to chill. But see, I eat what I kill, so all the evidence is fed, so yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's dangerous than your sympathy. I put the sinners all in the center, made it synergy. Woo! Made residuals off of chemicals, called it chemistry. I can sense when serpents will slide, they see serenity. Paper is the root of all evil, then the end. To me, simple things, dinner with Leah, breakfast with Tiffany's. Woo! Broken in pain when they ain't mention me, but I feel like they applauding in the garden. And I'm Willis Reed, I am found, and now I'm everywhere. The light is, it's priceless. I'm all in my zen, killing my vices. And I am James Wade. Hey, House of Blues 4 6, come check me out. We Development, down. I appreciate y'all having me in, man. Yes, we just had yes. to bless y'all with a little something. Y'all yes, always sir, come man. through for me, so I had to return the favor. You hey, did. hey, hey. Yeah, man. Come appreciate on, man. Appreciate James, wake it up here. Yes, just sir. make it look easy. Right. Super just easy. Make it look easy. He's certified. Like, uh, Again, oh, he been certified, certified. You know what I mean? If you don't like, say it, it didn't happen. Though. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. you know what I mean? You certified. 100%. You know what I mean? Double up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> Double couple certified. All right. Man. So, so James Wade, my girl, and uh, and and Eno. Uh, this is a section of the show where where uh, Raymo starts getting into. Uh, What's going on around the city? What's going on around the world? In the world of hip hop, maybe a little bit of sports or whatever we talking about. Y'all feel free to comment, jump yeah, in. You know what I mean, we gonna have sure. a little fun with it. Let's do it. Yeah, we start our show off a certain way every week, though. We start off with the video of the week. Yes, sir. This week is up. We got Sean Bennett up, man. You drop, okay? drop some heat this week, so mm -hmm. let's get it. Um, Sean Bennett, directed by Dre Paid. Hey, hey. I like the fact that he do that uh, with with you know other directors. Even though he's a director himself, he has somebody else direct his video. Shout out to Sean Bennett, Overlook Hero. That's salute, my guy. That's dope. Yeah. As a kid, I was wild, never learned my lesson. Mom and dad stayed beefy, he was barely present. My sister gave me all the tools to be a better man. The things you did for me was priceless, you never understand. But I jumped in the streets, when niggas started dissing, I took on that beef. A young nigga, built by loyalty, can't accept no defeat. And once you cross that line, you gotta stay there. They killing on that block, now nah, I ain't safe for kids to play there. It's time we change the culture, need to bring my people closer. I been hurting way too long, and I'm just searching for some closure. The more I'm getting older, I see things for what it's worth They kill my homie on this turf, I hate to see you on that shirt R.I.P. my nigga Dre, pour out some Remy on that dirt I got the news, they took your life and I broke down cause that shit hurt And I'ma always keep it G until I take my last breath Always striving for success, won't be a failure cause I'm blessed Yeah, they see me down but they ain't offer no help But I still can't give up on myself, yeah 
It's crunch time, but I've been dealing with stress. But I still can't give up on myself. No. As years pass, I feel closer to death. But I still can't give up on myself. Love the yeah. message. Yeah. Just pray for me while I'm chasing this wealth. And I still won't give up on myself, no Even through the darkest days, I always shine bright You just gotta keep working, you know when the time right Promise we'll be alright You can't let up, pick your head up I know days been getting hard to get your bread up Just don't give up, yeah This world to break you down, make you forget about what's important They gon' fake it till they make it, cop and shit but can't afford it It don't matter what's on the outside, only matter what's within I gave my heart on every song, I let my soul leak from this pen And free my dog about that pen, just hold your head, you coming home, nigga the streets that changed so many ways since you been gone, nigga Stick to yourself and leave them broke boys alone, nigga The ones you love will leave your name up on that stone, nigga I done hit rock bottom way too many times They turned they back when I was down, I should have seen the signs But that's in God's hands, keep going hard until you reach the end Shit, I've been patient more than ever, I'm just sticking to the plan But you don't understand They yeah. see me down, but they ain't offer no help But yeah. I still can't give up on myself, yeah Talk that it's talk, sir. But I've been dealing with stress, but I still can't give up on myself. No. As years pass, I feel closer to death, but I still can't give up on myself. Yeah. Just pray for me while I'm chasing this wealth, and I still won't give up on myself. No. Ain't hey, nah, for real. But I, still I know can't life can get hard and shit, but you can't give up on yourself. You just gotta pick your head up and maneuver through the bullshit and figure out what your purpose is in life. You know? Dope song, man. Dope song. Yeah, yeah. Like, like a really dope song, song man. That shit's crazy. Right. Right. Yeah, Skinny at the beginning talking, which was dope. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Shout out to Skinny, I'll man. Code 7. Code 7. I chopped it up with Ben right. earlier today. Mm -hmm. Salute, mm -hmm. salute. Biggie Ben, Big Ben. Yeah, man. Yeah, that was dope. That was real dope. That was, that was Sean Ben. That was one of his Soulful Sundays drop. Hashtag Soulful <laughs> Sundays, man. Y'all can see a lot of his, his work that he does on that. Or, or check out Overlook Heroes on YouTube also. And Nice. Man, Sean Bennett. Yeah. Hey, did y'all taste this? Uh, the yeah, melon? Yeah. The melon? Yeah. I yeah, got the it, melon, yeah. I'm like, yo, did, did I feel it? left out. <laughs> you ain't gotta be. Yo, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really lightweight, don't too. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's super it's, light. Yeah, it's light. Yeah. yeah it's it ain't light. Like, even... I have like this much. Look, yeah, I'm like, yo, is. I just poured it in this cup so you can taste this one. Cause I definitely yeah, it tastes like, like they got that like, seltzer, like that. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's almost like 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 a gin and tonic. There you with go. like a, like a, a a hint of whatever yeah. club soda fruit it is yeah. club soda yeah club you know soda. what I mean yeah. so yeah. it's not like really like a a, 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 a overbearing taste to it like yeah, I was sure, man you know you wouldn't even know this was alcohol if you was right. drinking it because I was like you know like, Shay gave me a coaster y'all so classy yeah, yeah. yeah man you gotta have, gotta have <laughs> I, I need to see your pinky in the air when you drink it you know what I'm saying when it when it out when it out pinky out you know what I'm saying classy I watched that episode of SpongeBob too yeah knew you was cool come on now it is. All right, so check it out we um we had another young lady who was supposed to be here today from um from our hip hop commission partners. Uh, right. Brina G, she's from Florida. She was gonna make, she couldn't, she couldn't make it in town for the Wu Tang concert tonight. Right. So this first clip was was really dedicated to her because she's a big Wu Tang fan. She right. also right. has her Wu Wednesdays that she does on a radio station out there. Right. Nice. So come on, run that first uh, picture for me, please. Boom. We had a one got to go for. Yeah, man. From, from the Wu camp. No. Jizzle, <laughs> 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 Liquid not. Swords, Method Man, to Cal, <laughs> Supreme Clientele, yeah. Ghost Face. Ghost Face. Excuse me. And then uh, Old Dirty Bastards first album. Boy. So they up there. <laughs> All right, who, who wants to take a shot at this one first? Hey, Quan, you, Quan, you go. Quan, what you what you got, man? What's, what's one got to go? Oof. It's one of the ones I listen to the most. You got to go uh, to Cal because that's the worst mixed yeah, album go. I've ever heard in my there life. You go. It's, it's the worst mixed album, but those it's, songs was crazy. But you have to yeah. turn it all the way up to hear any, yeah. any instruments. That's yeah. true. Yeah. This is, this it is does not true. bang at all. It's, it's, this is it's definitely true. by far the worst mixed. Mm. Wow. True. But I listen to ODB less than any any of those by far. Okay. There's only a couple songs I liked on there. I can't deal with ODB's what? voice for a whole album. Oh, man. <laughs> for a whole album. ODB shit. Oh, yeah. Crazy. <laughs> All of them crazy. Oh, man. All of them, the man. Oh, like, I was yeah. wilding out to the old dirt. Man. Right, that's what I'm saying. Dirt dog was like, <laughs> you know I was getting on mom's nerve, baby. baby. You know what I'm saying? Baby. Trying to hold that baby. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or that one joint, he was like, uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> he just Yo. did that for like five minutes. Man, uh. that was me. 
I definitely, all right. me, I would have, I would have got rid of ODB also. Okay, Ooh, personally, okay. I would have got rid of. All right, OT, what you got, role. man? What you good? You got, man? Man, ain't no way, dude. I, Come on, man. What you I, mean? I ain't got one. I'm you like, I love shot. all of these. You I'm gonna drink, you drink a whole cup. Nah. Shout out to T. <laughs> shout out to T. Butler. Shout out to yeah, T. Butler. Shout out to T. Butler and the one got to go show. You know what I mean? That's bros right there. Yeah, Fifth Element family. Y'all look out for that cook up. My girl, it's up. It's on you. No disrespect, Jizz is out. What? Okay. what? She said that fast. Right. Liquid that was swords. Fast. That was oh, really fast. Liquid swords. <laughs> Pardon me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was fast. Yeah. She said liquid Gensu. swords. Fast, I told. <laughs> I'm like the the last track on the album by itself was enough to keep it oh, in the there. Bible jump. Yeah, basic yeah. instructions yeah. before leaving Earth was enough to be yeah. like, yo, this is crazy. You know what I mean? Wow. I'm like, come yeah. on, Slimbo. What you who you got? Ah, uh, I, I think uh, for probably for the same reasons as what what Quan said. Yeah, I w- it would it would have been to Cal. Mm. It probably would have been to Cal. But it w- right. I'm like, make no mistake, it's not because the no, songs are bad. It's not because the, the, the songs, songs are, are bad. excellent. No, nah, not at all. Not exactly. at all. it's the mixing and mastering yeah. of the album that that, that mug is, it's terrible when it comes. It's to mixing. terrible. Yeah, yeah. It is. <laughs> the mixing it is, is pretty terrible. bad. It is pretty I bad. I can't give up on my. But that meth verse chef. Yeah, yeah, meth verse chef. Freaking uh, release your Del, release your Del, PLO yeah. style, PLO style was my Come on, man. man. I'm like, yo, yeah. uh, biscuits, to cow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, bring the pain. It's so many yeah. joints over there. Yeah. I'm like, man, yeah, nah, classic, man. classic, classic. Fucking Make sure album, y'all man. check out Woo Wednesdays <laughs> on Big Vibes Radio with your yes, boy, sir. man, DJ Slim, man. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yep. Yes, sir. Big yes, Vibes sir. Radio, Big Scoom. Mm-hmm. What's happening? James Wade, lights. Did you did you give your answer yet? Man, I'm gonna have to go with the ODB. That's the one I listen to the least. Okay. So yeah. all right. Eno. Yeah. Man, see y'all over here finna get boy canceled. <laughs> 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 so, so it's funny. I would say to Cal almost not for that reason of sound quality. And I had that shit on cassette. So it right. was even worse. And that B was buzzing. I was starting knocking off my headphones thinking the B was for real. Right. But yeah, I'm going to go to Cal because that's the one I least wow. listen to. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm ODB? Oh, man. Like I said, I got on my mom's nerve. <laughs> and genius, you know, the jizzes. So the liquid swords? Come on, man. Yeah. 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 And Supreme Clientele man. just speaks for itself. Yeah, yeah you got Supreme that's, 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 that's impeccable. Nowhere. That's one of the, one you of see, the no best. You talked about that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> one of the best hip hop albums ever made, Supreme Clientele. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Out of the woo, Supreme Clientele. Come on. Man. And uh, Purple and Tape. Purple Tape. Purple yeah. Tape. Purple I'm tape. like, this, those is like, come on. Like, what the, like, what are we doing now? <laughs> they don't get no better than that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm canceled already. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, this uh, this isn't in my notes, mm-hmm. but it's been an incredible day for hip hop with mm-hmm. Kendrick and Future dropping that oh, light. Right, 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 right. So it'd be crazy as hell if we didn't talk about that. Mm. Yes, sir. So what do y'all think? The song's called Like That. Kendrick had hella bars for Drake and, mm. and Cole. Where does this sit with y'all? Um, go ahead, my girl. I'm just, Okay. I might have missed something. Where is this coming from? It seems like it's deep and it's been a long time coming, it seems like. Like but from from Kendrick's bars, he he been meaning this he been meaning to get this off his chest for a little bit, right? Right. right, right. And in the whole big three, it was like to me, Cole was Jay, it was big up in him. And so it's kinda like, what I miss? <laughs> Shit, it's been going on for a minute. Um, yeah. I mean just I'm like I, I would say that. It's been going on since Big Sean made the control song. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. That's yeah. been, it's been going on since yeah. that since yeah. then. So I'm like, as far as I'm concerned, I'm like, this is one of the best verses Kendrick has ever dropped in a long time for me. Mm. You think so? For me, yeah. For me, mm-hmm. I was Facts. like, I I I hadn't heard him come like this mm. probably since either Damn or be, or right or before Damn. The hunger. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. that, was, that that to me that that that's I was like, this is the Kendrick I I fuck with. I, that last album wasn't the one I fuck with. Yeah. I was like, this this the Kendrick yeah. I fuck with. I was like, yo, yeah, this is crazy. All right. So, all you know yeah. what I mean? That's why I was like, man, I'm, I def- I definitely fuck with the last album. I, I, I could listen to that all the way through, yo. See, the I last could, joint, man. man I could right listen through. to Damn, to Pimp a Butterfly, and all uh, of them. Yeah. All and, of them. And Good Kid, Mad City, them, Section yeah. 80. Yeah. I could listen to them all the way through. And I think this is lightweight for Kendrick, too, man. Yeah. This lightweight for it's Kendrick. Lightweight. It's lightweight until they respond. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. It's lightweight, though. The way Cole been snapping lately, 
on everything. <laughs> he definitely been snapping. <laughs> yeah, on he like, definitely yo, has been doing his he, thing. He ain't jumping in the ring with no motherfucking lightweights. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, I know Kendrick is like, yo, I nigga, think we've been waiting I, I, on this day for a long time. We, we have been right. waiting. We used, to, we used to be on the phone about this on the three-way. Right. Like, right. <laughs> but I do have a question yeah. for y'all. Go do ahead. y'all think in... in of course, in this generation, not necessarily people who are alive today, but just in this newer generation of MCs, right. would y'all consider them the top three? In this generation? In, this, in where we at right now? Where we at right now? Yeah, yeah. I would definitely. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. I, yeah. Sure. For the most part. I'm yeah. like, who else would you put up there? I mean, nobody. I mean, you ain't okay, got unless, unless you go by numbers unless we and you talk about NBA Young Boy and right. people like that are there yeah. being mentioned. Yeah, but I'm talking about like bar wise, yeah. none yeah. of them dudes is rocking with these dudes. Yeah. I ain't never I ain't yeah. I ain't heard no verses from NBA Young Boy, Lil Baby, no. or no. No. That's what I said, you know what I mean? None of them. Right. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, they yeah. do the numbers, but they don't do they don't, you know what I mean? They're keep, not barring keep, out like Yeah, they're not keeping yeah. the, the the original culture of what an MC yeah. is alive. Facts, facts. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, I like what they do as far as music goes. I'm like, yeah. they make music to make you party, dance to, and right. you know what I mean? You bob your head to. Not no, not so much the killing to, but you know what I mean? They do make music that I'm like, okay, I can fuck with. Right. But as far as like the big three, mm-hmm. this is our, this is their yeah. version of the Biggie, right. Jay-Z, and Nas. Yeah. Or uh, whatever. However you want to do Kendrick a pop. Cole Drake, whatever. Kendrick Cole Drake. Kendrick Cole, I'm like, go. I go Cole Kendrick Drake. No, no, I don't. I, don't. And well, I wasn't putting them in order. I, 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 definitely, I definitely wasn't putting them in order. You know what I told you it was about to be canceled. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, I'm not, no comment on that. Yeah. No, nah, but then, I'm like, but that's just my per- personal opinion. I'm like, yo, they they all are elite MCs. So I'm like, shit, man. How but do what you did I say? Though I said Kendrick Cole J. Kendrick. Cole oh yeah, J. I meant that. I, th- I, think I know I you meant that. that. I, mean, I know you meant that. 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 I go. I'm like, yo. So I'm like, yo. I just flip flopped the first two. Ooh, that's right, it. right. Nah, I feel you. <laughs> I too, since y'all asked, I would also go Kendrick Coldrick. Just oh, there it is. Well, just let me go ahead and break that shit up for real quick. I'm gonna go with <laughs> Cole. Oh, Kendrick Drake. I'm about Cole, to say Cole, that. Cole, 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 all right, hold up. What you got? What you got, man? First of all, Compton. So all right, Cole, we yeah, already know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know right. that's that's the side over there. You okay. already know. So yeah. Kendrick Cole Same Drake. Same thing. All right, Cole what you got, Jay? I'm going Kendrick Cole Drake, and I gotta say, Kendrick, that was extremely calculated yeah. Yeah. because right. what Cole was doing was basically like, "Yo, we run this. You see me up here with Drake. We didn't already partnered up. Come on, Kendrick, come and get in this." And Kendrick's like, "Nah, man, I don't. I didn't come to play safe, mm-hmm. right? I didn't come to play games. I want to be number one and number one only." Mm-hmm. I love how he responded, hundred yeah. percent. Right. That's why he number one. Right. <laughs> That's why. Okay. Yeah. I, I feel side. you. Quan, I'm you up that. here. Yeah, it is. Quan. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Kendrick. There Cole. we go. There yeah. we go. Kendrick yeah, Cole Drake. No, no, I didn't say Drake. You ain't going to say Drake. He don't rock with Drake. He don't rock with Drizzy. You don't like Drizzy? You know, like Drizzy? He said Kendrick Cole <laughs> minus Drake. Mm. See, I'm like, right. man. Got to write all your bars. Got to write all your bars. Uh, right. Oh, man. So, so how, how do y'all feel you. about the um, that uh, Rodney O. Joe Cooley beat? I, I, I love that I'm fire. I think West. to me, I think that was calculated because I'm like, that's a classic West Coast yeah. song. Keep fire. it West, West Coast. Yeah. I'm like, dude, when you, everlasting hmm. bass is like one of them joints where you just as soon as you when turn you called it on, and told me, I was like, what the everlasting bass? Yo? I was like, yeah, that's crazy. Do 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 do. Come on, man. I'm like, yeah. Ooh. that's crazy. Uh, somebody getting pulled over right now because they bass bumping <laughs> that part. You know what I <laughs> mean? Everlasting <laughs> bass. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, bro. Yeah, Kendrick. Uh, Kendrick was going in. Let's see what some of this, some of this stuff from IG. The Cold War between Drake and Kendrick has been bubbling mm-hmm. uh, for a long time now, dating all the way back to 2013 when Kendrick dropped Control and Drake seemingly sent a mm-hmm. subliminal at him later that year on the language. Drake said, "I don't know why that. I don't know why that they've been lying, but you was not that inspiring." Kendrick mm-hmm. immediately shot back on TDE's 2013 BT cipher. So, and nothing's mm-hmm. been the same. Right. Look, that must have been some industry shit. Because right. that must have been some industry shit. Because I would have never got that out of that. <laughs> what? I think that line was directed at 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 uh at Kendrick at, from at, Drake. Uh, I would have never pulled that out of that. Right. Because I would have been like, yo, I'm, that had to be some like insider yeah. shit. 
They yeah. he, like he had to know that he was literally talking mm-hmm. about him, right? Because ain't no way I would have got it. I'd have been like, man, I don't know what y'all talking about. Yeah, they're, they're, they're incredible though. <laughs> they talking yeah. in, in secret service code, <laughs> <laughs> like it is. Illuminati code. <laughs> you know, yeah, what I mean? right. you gonna catch like, it, you're right? Like, what are you talking right. about, bro? Right. <laughs> all right, um, all right. Let's let's just let's move on through the show real quick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's what's next up there, Quan? And so, like, this was this was it's one of the history month. We had we were supposed to have three three females on the show today. Two couldn't make it. Shout out to them. So this is why we had this up here. We want to get y'all opinion, get the women's opinion. Uh, get the women opinions on this, so we're gonna have AKA you, my girl. Me. Yeah, <laughs> all right, yeah. <laughs> all right. Put put them in in order of rappers for you. Okay, here's what I have to say. Here's what I have to say. Before I do that, this is what I think. To me, they you can't really compare the four of them. No. I think okay. the thing that makes them common, or the thing that makes that that gels them together, is that they're female. Mm-hmm. Right? right when you think of style where they come from their cadence mm-hmm. you know what i mean it's it's to me you can't really compare them so i'm actually not going to so no uh, not uh, they're not comparing uh, just if you're buying albums which one first second third fourth <laughs> <laughs> one two three four fifth <laughs> <laughs> that would have been megan up there you know oh. <laughs> you had to put megan the stallion up there for the fifth But see, it's for different reasons. I mean, (laughs) because I don't want to be like, okay, Rhapsody, because, you know, she's woke and she's a real MC. And because sometimes that we we get pigeonholed because Mm -hmm. Nikki got bars. I can't even say that I'm a huge Mm -hmm. Nikki fan, but Nikki got bars. You cannot deny her bars. Right. Nikki do her thing. Lotto's cool. You know, and Cardi is her own. You know, Cardi, you know, I know she has a lot of ghost riders and stuff like that, but she's more trap. And you know what I mean? So, So does Drake. (laughs) (laughs) But don't (laughs) (laughs) Which one Would you play First At the club There we go Which club You are opening You're you're the opening DJ (laughs) Yep You're the opening DJ For Let's just say Zoe Come on now Well I'd probably go Rhapsody Right, oh, right, sure. right. Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of one for one. But now I've heard you spin, though, right? So I, right. I wouldn't put nothing past you being able to put Nikki over something else I've been and giving to, a, I've been and giving a whole different vibe. You know what I'm saying? I've been known to do such things. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So yeah, yeah. Now, I think I just in terms, I just I think if I you know so you know Slim's mission is this because I did get the chance to open for Zoe a couple weeks ago. Nice, but. I think just in terms of who should be in the room, I think Rhapsody should be in the room. Right. I think yeah. Rhapsody deserves to be in that room, yeah. if you know what I'm saying. Right. So, no disrespect mm-hmm. to the other artists. Because, um, mm-hmm. listen, like I said, at another club, on, on another night, yeah, for sure. any any one of those three right. ladies would, would get played. But in terms of, like, if that if it was that night, definitely right. Rhapsody. She's keeping like, her politics clean. Right, right. Day. <laughs> I love all y'all. I'll, I'll, I'll open for any of y'all anytime. No doubt. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look, I'm going to say, like, look, right now, if for you real. throw that lotto on in anywhere... If it's a certain amount of females in yeah. there, it's going, it's going, 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 it's going up. I'm, 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 I'm doing a, a, a been called her, her story in a couple of days, and, and, and a lot of will get played. So, like, so, like I said, up. no shade, you know, like, no shade. Yeah. As soon as you hear "Rip Me Out the Package," it's got to be acting brand new, <laughs> Nick, and like the whole club go crazy. <laughs> right. I'm like straight up. That's like the the same right now and shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah. I will say though that 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 3 a.m. is that that's mm-hmm. the song with with mm-hmm. Badu. Mm-hmm. That the, the snippet that they play is dope. Um. Mm-hmm. Uh. The the that song that she has is a new video. I can't remember the name of it, but it's really short. But it starts with the interview with Sanai Lathan. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's your heart. That yeah, shit is crazy. Go. That's I crazy. Seen that that shit day. is mm-hmm. crazy, yo. So I'm I'm excited to hear the new project from Rhapsody. Yeah, Rhapsody you know drops. I think yeah. she drops May 17th. If yeah. I'm, nice. I'm right. Yeah, beautiful. Good, good, good. I would go with Rhapsody, Lotto, Nikki, and then Cardi. Okay, Lotto, Lotto over song. Nikki. Hell yeah. Why okay. Cardi last? Just curious. Why not, Cardi Last? Because she's the she's she's the least favorite to me out of them. Sure. I still like her though. I definitely like Cardi. Yeah. Which, just, what you got? What you, what you got? I'm going uh, Nikki Lotto Rhapsody Cardi. Mm. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Let's okay. do a, a, a smash kill. <laughs> <laughs> smash kill Mary. Wow. <laughs> James Wayne, that's on you. Okay, the smash kill Mary is on you. James. Smash kill Mary and, and, side, and, and side piece. Oh, and side man. piece. Shit. Um, I'm marrying Rhapsody. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, 
I'm smashing Lotto. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm killing Nikki. Oh, <laughs> damn. She got to go. And uh, what a, and then I'm just burying Cardi alive. No, that's your side. That's your side. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah she be, oh. oh, wait. She loud. Uh, yeah. Nikki yeah. Like, Boy, she going to tell everybody. No, actually, I would rather have her so. be loud than uh, Nikki. So I'll, I'll take Cardi. Uh, All right. All right. You know what you got, man? Y'all over here. <laughs> Smash me. kill. <laughs> Smash kill. Mary side piece, Smash. yo. Smash. Definitely smashing <laughs> Lato. Lato. <laughs> Shice. Uh, uh, damn. Smash Lato. I wouldn't marry. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, if you want peace, brother. <laughs> if you want peace. <laughs> <laughs> well, he you know, already said we going to smash. Yeah, smash. The hard Lotto. part is out the way. Who you going to marry? Who right. going to be wrong? Oh, yeah, yeah. Who you going to marry? You know yeah. what, though? I go with Cardi on the marry, though. Cause Cardi was Cardi seemed like she's she been out there yeah. smashing yeah. a whole lot of motherfuckers. Man, that's her body count is up there. Hey, you yeah. know, my my answer is totally different than all of y'all. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Doing. Yeah, y'all kill me with this one. <laughs> all right, we we gonna start you out. Yeah. We gonna start you. Yeah. Out. Yeah. 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 Yeah
and Beyonce is that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah. to me, I'm like, yo, it, if she drew some inspiration from Badu, yeah. just take that as like, okay, that's dope. So she, she she checking you out. That's dope. Because yeah. she could be oblivious. She's rich enough and more popular to be oblivious to what Badu's doing. You know what I mean? You so, know, so we taking the flattery. We taking the flattery. Man. I'm taking flattery. flattery. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm like. Yo, I'm that's like straight thing. up. I'm like all this shit is copying. All this Come shit on, is old. Bro. None of this shit is new. So I'm like, yo, Badu didn't invent beads on the braids. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, yo, you better calm me down for the, before they come for you. You know they came for me. Boy. That's a, that must be a Texas thing because um, yeah. Sauce Walker and them be wearing the beads on the braids. Yes, they yeah. do. Right. right. Yeah. 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 I mean, let's not forget Stevie. Come on now. Stevie yeah. Wonder. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like you, you, had Patrice, you had Patrice Russian. Patrice yeah, Russian. Yeah. 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 Donna yeah. Summer. Yep. Donna yeah, Summer. All these, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. All of these yeah. people that did this way yeah, before this. So I'm like, so I'm like, so Badu was reaching. She, I, I, I say she reaching now nah, because it could reaching. be a coincidence, yeah. or, or it could be deliberate. But at the same time, I'm like, yo, it's hard to make that case when you didn't invent it, right? right. You know what I mean? Right. You, right. They need to have a conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah both talented song. women. She yeah. called on Jay Z for help. <laughs> man, hey, look, <laughs> she called her. She called her man like, for help. Jay. Hey, yo, the honesty yeah. is, that might be war. <laughs> who knew when that photo shoot was? She probably did that photo shoot some time before, before that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Like, okay. Oops, same time. Oh, yeah, they got the beads. And like, wait a minute. I right. did this shit like eight months ago. Or it could have been like, yo, <laughs> like know. she like she could have did it. And she would have been like, okay, that's the popular style now. Right. Right. I'm like, yo, right. that's like me saying like, yo, I got my hair cut in a flat top because Big Daddy Kane, now he coming at me because I got a flat top. I'm like, man, everybody wearing a yeah, flat top. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit, what the fuck? <laughs> Y'all got the Gumby now. You yeah, know like, what, what the fuck? Like, what you want me to do? But you, but you know what it is. You know, whatever Beyonce does, she has a Beyonce effect. She, right. she can't do nothing. She can't go to Target without it being right. news. You know what right. I mean? And so anything she does, somebody's going to speak on it. Right. She's either going to get way too much praise or way too much criticism, and she right. just can't do nothing regular, you know? Right. And, and it's crazy because she can't even do something as simple as like Badu shit and say like okay yeah I right. want to do my, do that right you know what I mean you can't even do that that's yeah. a, a a real thing no, amongst so regular but, but humans but you know what though <laughs> real talk though like it's one thing to for flattery to be like the thing right but then mm -hmm. like don't take it and then not give me no credit don't mm -hmm. you know what I mean like it's at least be like yo that you know mm -hmm. Just yeah, give me a little, uh, just a little bit, just a right, little right. bit. She just has definitely bit. spoken on being a fan of Erica Badu. She put her in her song, like yeah, she's right. a fan. I don't know right. about now, but <laughs> right, but right. she's, right. she's right. a fan. So I mean, right. maybe she was paying homage and then it went left. I don't know. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, dude, right, I'm like, right. you, but you know what? The, the thing is, though, it's not even them two really. It's it's the the. Be commentary in the in the, yeah. you know what I mean? Because they probably not they they probably laughing about this shit, right? Yeah, you know what I mean. They probably not already had a conversation. Absolutely, drink your, drink your sweet tea on a right. hot summer yeah. day. You know what I mean? Whatever they doing, yeah. you know what I mean? doing is right, so let, let me move Shout on real quick. So Shout I can get through this real fast. Like I said, this was supposed to be a women's show. We're supposed to have a lot of women on. So this was. Um, is there a such thing as professional baby mamas? Because we got Drea up there, and she got a baby by Orlando Scandrick. She now um, is pregnant by a 21 year old Jalen Green. And then we got Bow Wow's, and Future's baby mom is now pregnant by uh, Trayvon Diggs. Uh, is there such thing as like professional baby mamas? They out here hunting cats, hunting millionaires. <laughs> I mean, ain't nothing new about that. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing new. Right? Yeah. Right. Can, can we take Future out of that real quick? Because Future got a lot of baby mamas. That's all I'm going to say. Right. <laughs> I, I would say like this. You know, when you're in a, in a realm and you're in that circle, yeah. it's natural for you to have uh, partners that's uh, in the same profession or in the lines of that. It'd be like, like, like you know what I mean? Um, Somebody in your, in your circle or whatever, you know, you got you got homeboys all around the city. They all pretty much you're know, on the same level, so it wouldn't be a thing like, okay, yo, you used to kick it with him. Oh, yeah, now you yeah. kick it with him. Right. Now you kick it with him. You know what I mean? It's, you it's sound like you sound like oh, oh, you had a baby by by my homeboy over there. I, I'm gonna go ahead and knock you up next, and then the third homeboy. Okay, well, it ain't even, it ahead. ain't about like knocking <laughs> you up next. I'm like, yo, they they had a relationship with her, and I'm like, yo, at one point in time, they probably was serious about it, and yeah. shit happens. I'm like, yeah. yo, you you shoot up the club with somebody. Are you serious with? And I'm like, and that's what happened. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh. not, not all the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm like, hey, look, all right, my niggas shooting yeah, up the club tonight, and, not. and, and they, they they're <laughs> also not in that spot because of anything they're doing. Like the people that right. they're with are like athletes and entertainers it's a right. reason why they're in those spaces those other women are only there because they're dating those people so if they stop dating a certain entertainer 
why are they still in entertainment circles if they're not entertainers themselves? Right. Right. They're hunting for their next yeah, kill. That's true. That's, that's what that yeah. is. So yeah, hundred percent. But it's 100%. like okay. it's like it's like leveling down though. I'm like yo, you. I'm like hey, it ain't nothing to see a, a broke ass uh, chick with with three broke ass baby daddies. Right. So, same thing. Same thing. That's same what I'm thing. saying. I'm like, same, yo, I'm, same it's like that. leveling yeah. down. I'm like, yo, if you went from here and you dating freaking Shaquille O'Neal and he doesn't shoot you there, I'm like, yo, you about to go date Joe Blow Smoke who barely yeah. making it in check to check? <laughs> nah, nigga, you ain't doing that. I don't mm. know no girl that'll do that. All right, quick last one. <laughs> la la last move on real quick. Last move on. Gotcha. BMF, um, they had an actor play Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> yo. <laughs> Hey, they were talking about Stop that thing. Stop disrespecting my guy, man. You didn't have to show that picture, though. You didn't have, that didn't have Boy, to be the one. That's the one they showed. That's, yeah. the, that's, Boy, the, one, that, that's the one that meant the most. That nigga got his bandana to hurt his mama. They hurt his mama. That bandana feminine as hell. I'm going to go last. So, <laughs> so it's, it's nothing to go on real quick. So, Quan, roll to the next picture real quick. That's um, crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> this is some of the actors that played Pac right here. Mm -hmm. Um... Um, what's his name up top? I can't even think of his name. Hold on. Uh, I don't know. Faux Pac. Faux Pac. Look at that. Right. 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 Demetrius Ship. Um, that's uh, Mark Rose in the middle right there, and um, Lamont Bentley at the bottom. You know, he was on Moesha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. None of them look like Pac. None of them look like Pac. Yeah. The Demetrius Bishop. Um, is probably the closest looking. Closest one. Top. But yeah. No. But yeah, they gonna have to get some better actors to play Pac, man. man. So a better look alike. Do you think it's hard? Okay, because yes. we're not gonna go into flex as Michael Jackson. We just not gonna Ooh, do that. Oh, you <laughs> I think there are some people. It's just hard to get the way yeah. they look and their essence. Yeah. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just hard. Do you think yeah. Tupac's one of those people? Definitely. I yeah. definitely so think. Yeah, he's no, one I didn't see one of them niggas on Fremont Street. I did. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I said, oh, Jamie, yeah. Jamie Foxx is the only one I ever seen that was like hey, Tupac. A, no, a real oh. Ray Charles. Yeah. When no, he yeah, played Ray sure. Charles, for you was sure. just like, yo. Even the yeah, people in sure, his family sure. always say they was like, boy, he had yeah. Ray down to a T. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know what when I mean? He got to hang with him. He was there with yeah, him. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, days. So yeah. that yeah. And Tupac and, and him. Talented. Yeah, and with Tupac, especially with our generation, we lived and saw it. Mm -hmm. So right. anybody yeah. trying to do him is kind of offensive. You like, mm. right. like yeah. nah, bro, just leave it alone. That's like, like the, the dude played later, dope. The dude who played Biggie, I was, was like, nah. Yeah. Right. I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> you know what it is? Thought, that was gravy. I thought he that was, was cool. Good. They could yeah. have, well, if Gorilla Black would have been able to do it, that was almost yeah. as close yeah. as yeah. Do you have a uh do you have a favorite uh Tupac song to play? You know what I'm saying? Out. Oh, you saying? Dang. <laughs> put you right on the spot. You put huh? me right on the spot. <laughs> Hit him up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. I'm like, yo, all right, hold I mean, on. I, 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 mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm gonna just go easy. You know, um, two of America's most wanted, aka Gangsta Party, is a fun one to play. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's yeah. always a good one. California Love is fun to play out. For right. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. we could we could officially start the interview a little bit. Like, so you are hailing from originally. Oh. You are from. Oh. I'm gonna say I'm from California. There you go. I'm from all over California. Okay. Um, so mm -hmm. early part of my life, I was in Southern California, but the last, you know, half of my life was in uh, the Bay Area, Santa Cruz, Northern California. Yee. Yeah. Right. right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Bay Area, you know what I mean? Bay Area. Yeah. There you Straight go. up. Yeah. <laughs> Straight I, up. I claim Oakland. They 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 adopted me, but I'm not officially from Oakland because you know you say you're from some. Oh, what they want to know what the coordinates right. the streets that you're from. What high school you go yeah. to? And I'm like, right. you know what? I ain't got all that. Nah, she was I'm in so Richmond. <laughs> you, like, you know what I'm saying? So you a DJ? Like, did you you were coming with your records and all that? From, in the beginning, I, in the beginning, I had records. Yes, I did. But then, uh, but then at one point, I was just like, ooh, so I can either like spend thousands of dollars on like all these records, or mm -hmm. I could, you know, have you know. Access to thousands of songs on my computer and, and, and less money. And not break right. your so, back bringing all those records. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So what 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 uh, what uh, inspired you to pick up the craft of DJing? Because that's not a a, a, a task that you see a lot of women in. It's starting mm -hmm. to be more now mm -hmm. lately as a, as the the women are starting to see like okay this is something that they can get into it. Yeah. But but. I'm like you coming from the vinyl days right. it definitely wasn't a, a woman dominated genre 
You know, it's so funny. It's it's something that I, I just kind of fell into. Mm-hmm. Um, and I always say it's something that I started and never stopped because I just kept loving it. Mm-hmm. I started out on radio, started out in college, right? Mm-hmm. So I was, you know, I had a radio show and... You know, and then people would ask me, hey, can you DJ my party? I'd take the radio station equipment there. And, <laughs> and, you know, I didn't know what I was doing, but I was like, OK, you know. And so it really grew up from there. And really, it was when I moved to Santa Cruz um, that I really got started. So um, so I was good friends with a DJ. She went by DJ Echo back in the day. Now she's Erica Landia. And so she really helped me get started. She was like, you know, you should just DJ. And I was like, all right. And it was just one of those things where um, it was like it was a suggestion. But I was lucky enough to come up with female DJs. Right. Actually, mm-hmm. so shout out to DJ Sparkle, who's also in Santa Cruz. So they re- both really helped me get started. Nice. And then, you know, after a while, I, I started just gigging more and doing this fundraiser and this community thing. And OK, I'll do your wedding. And so it really just grew out of that. Like it was just something that just naturally I just kept doing it. Really, it wasn't um, it wasn't until a few years into it that I really uh, understood that it was not normal for other people to see a female DJ. For me, I'm just doing my thing. I'm a DJ. Right. Right. That happens to be female. So when people say "You're, you're a female DJ and they're like, oh, my God. And I'm just like, oh, I see that. So I had to kind of get used to that because. You just out there doing your thing. You don't you don't necessarily label yourself as other people label you. You know, right, 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 right. So I'm um, uh, with you being a DJ mm-hmm. and and being able to break through some of the the I would like to say the barriers sure. of, of of having a, a, a being a woman in this field. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, how did you end up linking up with Zoe and doing <laughs> that show? Because that is crazy. I cannot, that's not that, that's super big, right? Okay. Um, shout out to 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 Avery Hoxett, uh, Greg Avery Hoxett. He f- just found me. So I played at the Joshua Tree Music Festival, which I'm playing again uh, this year. And he, somebody that he followed, tagged me. And they weren't even gonna have a DJ. And he saw what I did there, and he was like, "Okay, well, I want her to be a DJ." He literally just DM me and was like, "You want to you want to open a concert?" And I was like, "Who is, is this a?" Bot? What is <laughs> like, Wait a minute, homie, what's going on? And, and you know, it turns out it was legit and it and he was just like, Yeah, I knew that you were the one just just from what you did. And that that is the greatest compliment. Nice. It's Absolutely. just the greatest compliment. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know nobody. It wasn't no it was just just strictly on my merit and on you know everything that I've built up into this point. So mm-hmm. it was it was such a dream to uh, to get to do that because I've been I mean I've been a fan of Tall Black Guy since he was yeah. doing you know MJ remixes back in the day right. and, yeah. and, and, yeah. and, and mm-hmm. so like heavy rotation. They're, they're definitely artists that are heavy in my rotation anyway. So mm-hmm. so to get to open for them was such a dream and it was such an amazing show and such a good night. Nice, yeah. nice. That's dope. So dope. so are you uh? really immersed in the DJ culture or do you like stick to some of the traditional things that DJ do like learning mm-hmm. how to do the scratches mm-hmm. and, the, and the waffle and all that stuff and going back and forth you know that that has never really heavy been my thing for mm-hmm. me I'm all I, I I'm more I play more like a house DJ I'm all mm-hmm. about that blend I'm all about that mix I'm all about the soundscape right. that takes you from the beginning to the end mm-hmm. so that's more of my style however I, you know, with all the new um, with all the new technology that's coming out and the different ways that you can mix with stems and all kinds of stuff, I'm yeah. really playing. I'm really having fun. Right. So I'm yeah. definitely my DJ style is definitely evolving because there's just, there's just so more m- many tools and toys to play with. Mm-hmm. So man, I, the way I sound now is definitely not going to be the way I sound in, in a year or two. Like hey, it's, I'm yeah, having a good play. time. I'm having yeah. a good time. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. That's, that stems is a game changer. Yo, man. Yo. A game Speak changer. on it. Man. Oh, and, and for those who don't know what stems are, it's like you can take an element of the song, like you could take the vocals or the melody or the bass line or the or the percussion and drums, yeah. and you can isolate them. So you can take mm. out the vocals or you can just take out the drums. And so when you mix, it's a, it's it's a lot smoother. The bl- you can make so when yeah. so if you've seen on. Uh, Instagram or TikTok, there's a lot of people making mashups, and that's because that STEM technology mm. has come out because we can yeah. you do it so much easier. Because before you had to like find a place where you can buy stems, and you had to have all these you know mm, technology yeah. and, and software and stuff like that. And now it's just super easy, and so um, it's just made for me. It makes DJing so much more fun yeah. than it already was. Was it? What's the what's your equipment you're working on? I got a few things. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a gear hound. I'm like, I gotta stop buying stuff. But um, but I still have my turntables at home. I don't take them out anymore just because, as you said, they heavy. They're, it's a lot. I know some DJs who are like, nah, tables are nothing. Yeah, she got Come on now. Twelve. Hey, hey, Come hey, on now. Yeah. So, twelve tens yes. or the twelve hundred. Twelve tens. Hey, look at you. <laughs> so so I got so I got techniques. I got um so I have um I just bought when I when I rocked with you the other night I had um I just bought the Pioneer um SRT. 
That's right. Thank you. SRT, SRT one thousand, yeah. um, which yeah. is an older controller, but it's but it's so amazing for a club, um, mm-hmm. yeah. which I'm doing more of now. So I said, okay, let me just get this one, even though there's there's newer controllers. I have a Roland DJ eight hundred eight, which actually has a whole drum kit in it. Has the mm. has the has the eight hundred eight. Has like a whole drum machine. Mm. That, yeah, it has a six hundred six seven hundred seven. It's crazy. Um, and That's then I, and then I have uh, just a couple small portable ones for when I travel. Okay, that's okay. dope. It, it's dope too because she really know what the fuck she talk about. You can you right. can tell how she naming the machines and shit, right? And I pulled up late to the to the gig, man. She's like setting up the speakers is already set up. I'm like, yo, like she got this shit popping. That's dope, but yeah, y'all gotta go check out DJ Marco, man, yeah. for real. I appreciate you. And Slim, don't 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 act like you ain't you ain't that dude. Don't act like, 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 like. Slim came in, and mind you, you know we we got introduced through Art, who I know who's who's right. been on this show, right? Yep. Um, and so he came rock with me on, on, on my uh, monthly call at the spot. And so he came and did his thing. I said, what am I going to play? It's, it's <laughs> rare that you have a DJ who, who will play everything that you will play. Mind you, we didn't know each other. Right. And so it's just fun when you get to meet somebody and you get to know them musically. Right. It's just fun because, you know, it does. it's not always like that. So it's nice. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, DJ Slim, you know, he ain't never going to big up himself. But Great. He's Crazy. one of the like... He's one of the elite in the city as far yeah. as DJ. Yes, sir. You ain't got to tell sir. me. Yeah. And <laughs> not only that, but not all DJs can can read a crowd, know what to play, play what's popular, play a lot of songs because you 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 play what maybe maybe a verse, maybe yeah, two yeah. verses, something like that. Yeah, you, like you, you 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 do that quick. You like to move, do that quick mix, yeah. but you do not. Uh, ignore the dance floor. Sometimes yeah. it's like, okay, right. let me go to this song. And it's, and it's, a, it's like, you, you want to hear a little more, but the way he, psh, man. <laughs> yeah. No, we have fun that night, man. Super I, I, I was, it was, it was a lot of fun. I appreciate Art and you for having me that night, man, for yeah. real. And speaking of new music, man, we got yeah. new music uh, premiering uh, on, on Monday, right? Yeah, yeah, we got new music premiering on, on the 88 to the 5th uh, Wake Up Squad show. It's gonna be Candace mm. Boyd R and B. Okay. Hey, look, if y'all hey, hey, if y'all know about Candace, man, hey, crazy. crazy. Y'all gotta run the show crazy. back too when she sang on the I'm show. I'm like, man. yo, right. y'all yeah. go, go back to that episode where yeah. we had Candace on there. I'm talking about she came out of a full conversation right into singing. Right into the like, song. Yeah. Without uh-huh. even like no hell, hella <laughs> mel- uh, melodic. I'm melodic. like, yeah, I, man. man, look, that girl's incredible. Incredible. Yeah, so y'all check it out on Monday morning, eight o'clock, uh, eighty eight to the fifth. It's a uh, fifth element collaboration with the Wake Up Squad on eighty eight point one. Check right. it out. We premiering Candace Boy R and B on Monday morning, no eight a.m. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And we we about to get that out of here. Yep. <laughs> um, yep. Yep. Quan, can you run our our commercial for us one time, please? Before we get out of here, we got to get our sponsors in. Mm-hmm. Gotta pay the bills. The fifth is for the kids. Gotta pay the bills. Like old dirty. The fifth is for the children. Oh right. God, Kylie. Rain of rain. This is my cat Snow. I like to go swimming at the pool. I like to go swimming underwater. <laughs> I like to sing. This girl is a fire. <laughs> I like to go bowling. My favorite holiday is Christmas. Santa always brings me a lot of presents. Hey. I like riding the bus to school. In the I have so many friends on the bus. <laughs> I like to go to school and uh, learn. Favorite My food favorite food, is? food hey. is pizza. Hey. <laughs> I love to travel. I like sitting by the window on the airplane. My favorite place to travel to is the Philippines. I always have so much fun in the Philippines. Bye, everybody. Feel free to subscribe if you liked my video. Man, y'all got kids? Raina Ray <laughs> Smith on, right. on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Right. That was dope. right. Shout out to yeah. our barber, Q, the barber at the barbecue yeah. shop at 2077 North yes, Jones. Sir. Pull up on them. They say they're taking all fades over there. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Slim. Yeah, man. Eccentric glow for all your skincare and your hair needs. All natural. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to uh, Mr. North Las Vegas Barbershop. And big shout out to Divine Graphics LLC. In uh, the Bronx, P Line, man, peace to Black Transit. Y'all know what it is. Yo, yo, and uh, shout out to Mariposa. Every day of the week, they got something popping. Only day we close is Mondays, and I'm pretty sure that soon that's going to change. <laughs> Every day of the week, we have something going on at Mariposa. It don't matter what days. At, uh, Saturday, Sunday is our brunch, and it always goes crazy. Uh, we have uh, Angie T hosting on our brunches. It's just one of the one of the dopest experiences. People come from all over the country to come in and experience that. Uh, 
You can reach me at OT from the D. That's O T F R U M T H D. You know what I'm saying? On IG, mm-hmm. the fifth element hip hop. That's the number five T H E L E M E N T uh hip hop. That's Philip Fifth Element Hip Hop on IG, www.fifthelementhiphop.com. Right. Ray Sun. Ray Sun724, Twitter, IG. 420 in Vegas on YouTube. Not YouTube, excuse me. 420 in Vegas everywhere you listen to podcasts at and the Ray Sun Report on YouTube. Peace. Mm-hmm. At DJ Slim, DJ S L I M M. Real simple, DJ Slim. Where can they find you at? How can they reach you, my girl? Uh, you can find me at djmygirl.com. You can also find me at at. That's my girl, M A I G I R L. Yep, yo, on Eno. All social yo, yo. Yo, where they can reach? Yo, reach me on IG at Eno is, uh, excuse me, Eno underscore is underscore one. There it is. There it is. James Wade. You already know I am James Wade on all streaming platforms, on all social media platforms. Who you think keep the lights on? Lights. Oh, there it is. There <laughs> it is. <laughs> and with that saying, everything is done. You know what I mean? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Yo, we out. Yeah, you already know that it's evident. You're rocking with East God and the development. Probably should run for president. The black wolf walking the woods feel like the revenant. I had to embellish it. MC on the beat like OT from the D. Just pass me the rock, I'ma pull it up from the three. I see strange things like 11. And when I'm on the mic, I get them hype like DJ7. I'm DJ Slim in Hollywood like I'm bug. They know I'm the one. Man, the knowledge come from the dreads. This acts race up. Peace, love, and unity. You gotta give it your best. And you say that you got them bars, but we gon' give them a test. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. You ain't said right, please say it one more time. One, two, three, four, five.